Hi, I'm Stephen Pavlakis, and I'm, a, I'm board certified in three fields, uh, one pediatrics, a second neurology with special competency in pediatric neurology, and a third in neurodevelopmental disabilities. I work here at Maimonides Medical Center taking care of children with neurological problems and developmental disabilities. Uh, I went to medical school at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island, and then I did my residency in pediatrics and pediatric neurology at Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center in New York. I selected my specialty because I liked uh, dealing with children and I thought neurology was interesting so this put both together. Well, pediatric neurology is a field that takes care of neurological problems in children, which usually means children under the age of 18, sometimes 21 years of age. Um, so one has to really like taking care of children, and when one takes care of children, one has to take care of the family because, as everyone knows, you can't take care of the kid if you can't take care of the family as well. Pediatric neurology takes care of uh, multiple things that are neurological, and those include uh, learning problems, developmental problems, motor problems such as cerebral palsy, um, attention deficit disorders, uh, autism which are the sort of the developmental issues. In addition, uh, the common diagnoses that we take care of are patients with epilepsy, because most epilepsies really occur in children, not in adults. Uh, we also take care of brain tumors, muscle diseases, nerve diseases. So there's a whole gamut of things, and, and also genetic diseases that impact on the brain. And as, as we've talked, my, one of my interests is, is stroke in children, and we also, of course, take care of that. So there are a whole lot of uh, uh, things that we do. Um, and, but probably the most common diagnoses that we see are developmental problems, epilepsy or seizures, and headaches. Those are probably the three most common diagnoses that a child neurologist in Brooklyn or in, the, in New York or even in the U.S. sees in their practice. I, I've been interested in genetic diseases w within pediatric neurology as well as stroke and vascular diseases over the past 20 or 30 years. My treatment philosophy with patients is basically to include them in decision making and most patients actually like that. So for example, um, we'll talk out loud about what are the different options and what different things one could go through and do either from a, a diagnostic perspective or a treatment perspective. And uh, most patients like that approach. Some don't. Some like it much more rigid. Uh, but I'd say 90% of the patients that come to me do like that approach. There aren't any major trends in pediatric neurology that are explosive, uh, and I think that's probably true in most uh, medical care. Uh, the trends in pediatric neurology are sort of small steps forward that are coming in multiple different directions. If one looked 30 years ago, there were only a few centers in the country that did research or were doing new things. And nowadays, it's really spread out throughout the world. Uh, so you're getting small steps coming from everywhere. Uh, and uh, there's really, if you look at it over 20 or 30 years, there's tremendous progress being made um, in, in child neurology and stroke in child neurology. Uh, I've done work on sickle cell a lot in child neurology, and there have been tremendous strides, but, but they're always incremental. They're not huge breakthroughs, typically. Well, I think here in Maimonides, our, uh, we have a, a sort of an integrated approach to patient care. And it's just not my practice, but we have a group of child neurologists now. Uh, we actually have five that work here uh, with neurosurgeons and an epilepsy unit. So we've actually integrated our care uh, quite well. We uh, do see all patients with child neurology problems, which includes headaches, epilepsy, learning problems, genetic diseases. Uh, we uh, have an epilepsy monitoring unit in the hospital, uh, so we focus on that. And we also are developing our ability to see children with neurodevelopmental problems, autism, learning issues, and we have people within the division that do that as well. So uh, we're trying to expand in, in, in all those directions and work as a cohesive unit uh, to provide best care. 
Uh, firstly, I, the, some of the patients that we really helped always stand out, and that's very gratifying in an immediate fashion. Uh, and, and of course, you always remember those patients. Uh, in terms of research uh, uh, findings, we in the 80s described uh, genetic diseases called mitochondrial diseases, and parts of them anyway, um, and we helped sort of define that, that field uh, of mitochondrial diseases. Uh, even more importantly, I feel, is sort of our, our work and my work on sickle cell disease and cerebral vascular disease, that meaning stroke in children, uh, which when we started in the 80s and continue now, uh, very few people were interested in. And uh, now we're expanding it and looking at even at hypertension and how that affects blood flow and blood vessels in the brain in children. And now it's actually the field has opened up to where there are many researchers in the world looking at it, and probably at least 100 people or 200 people are actually interested in this field where it didn't exist uh, when we started at all. I'm the chief science officer at, at, at Maimonides Medical Center, and uh, the job is actually, as I see it, twofold. One is to integrate uh, all research and teaching of research in the medical center, and then the second part is to expand it, uh, in other words, expand research at the medical center. The first part we've done by trying to synthesize all the different disparate uh, researchers and research um, uh, um, programs that we have within the institution so people can go to one place. Uh, we also have a foundation that gives money to residents and attendings uh, for clinical research mostly, but also for basic research. Uh, and this foundation is, is an internal foundation that gives out about $500,000 of grants a year, which is really lovely as a startup. And it's, it's actually one of the really nice things about uh, the research environment at this institution. We're also spending a lot of time trying to teach research to residents, uh, and now that's becoming much more important. And we have close to 500 residents at, at Maimonides, uh, and the goal is to teach them how to do research. And some of them will want to do it, and some of them will just understand it so they can read papers better and become better doctors at synthesizing information that's coming from different directions. Um, and then after that, we're trying to expand uh, the research presence, which is a, a harder task, of course, and so we've really s dealt with mostly fixing the infrastructure, uh, developing teaching and education, and the next step will be to increase research here.